Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. This video is an introduction to converting between different area units. For example, I drew here one square foot. It means that this side is one foot long, this side is one foot long. So its area is one square foot. But now we're going to convert it to square inches. And to do that, all you need to do is remember that one foot is how many inches? 12 inches, right? It is 12 inches. 12 inches. So this is actually 12 inches this way, 12 inches that way. And now to find the area in square inches, all you do is multiply 12 times 12 equals 144 square inches. Okay? It's important that you get this principle. Imagine this being divided into 12 inches. And similarly this one. Then go evenly anyway. Then you would have 144 little square inches inside it. Here is a one square centimeter. You know each side is one centimeter so the area is one square centimeter. But what about if we want to know the area in square millimeters? All we do is think how many millimeters is one side. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. So this side is 10 millimeters. This side is 10 millimeters. Okay? And when we multiply, 10 times 10 equals 100. And we get 100 square millimeters. Like that. So 1 square centimeter is 100 square millimeters. You can imagine, divide it into 10 this way, divide it into 10 this way, and you will have 100 little squares. Here we will use the same principle. We asked, how much is 1 square meter in square centimeters. I'm gonna draw one square meter here or sketch it. Okay, if this is my one square meter it means that this side is one meter, right? But since we need to go to square centimeters, let me think also how many centimeters is the side. It is, as you know, 100 centimeters. And now we find the area by multiplying, okay? 100 times 100. And then I get square centimeters. 100 times 100 is here, 10,000. So one square meter is 10,000 square centimeters. Now this one here, I can now use what I already calculated. Five square meters would be, of course, five times that, 50,000 square centimeters. Let's say we have a square with six foot sides. What is its area in square feet, square inches? I'll sketch it again. It always helps, helps to sketch when you have a geometry problem. It helps you think, you know. This side is six feet. Six feet. So in square feet, of course, all you do is multiply six times six and you get 36 square feet. Now in inches, I do the same. I will think how many inches this side is. Okay, each foot is 12 inches. Six feet is six times 12. 72 inches. So I will multiply 72 times 72 to get the area in square inches, right? 72 times 72. Okay, 5184 square inches. How many square yards are in one square mile? You could run to mathematical tables to find that out, right? Or Google maybe. But we can solve it too. Let me first sketch my square again. If this is one square mile, then each side is one mile. But in square yards, I have to first think how many yards is one mile. One mile is 1760 yards, right? And so is that side. So, let's put it here. Now we will multiply 1760 times 1760. Since both numbers end in zeros, I can use a little shortcut and just multiply 176 times 176. Once I get my answer, I will tag two zeros to it because there's a zero here, zero here. Okay? 6 times 6 is 36, then 45, and then 10. 7 times 6, 42. Then 50, 
three and twelve and then six seven one and add all right we got the answer thirty thousand no not quite remember I need to tag two zeros to this like that that's my final answer square yards 3,097,600 square yards in a square mile. Next, calculate the area of that rectangle there in square miles and in square yards. The dimensions here are given in miles, 0 0.6 miles, 1.5 miles. So, to find the area in square miles, all we need to do is multiply those two numbers, right? So, 0 0.6 miles times 1.5 miles. How much is that? That's a decimal multiplication, but that is pretty easy to do here because the numbers are easy. Remember to multiply by decimals. You multiply as if there were no decimal points first. So I would have 6 and 15. 6 times 15 is 90. But then, there's one decimal digit here and one here, so in the answer I need two decimal digits, okay? So, I need to have it like this. 0 0.90 square miles. And that simplifies to 0 0.9 square miles. That's that. That part of the question is solved. In square yards now, okay, I could calculate this in yards and calculate this in yards and then multiply those numbers. I would get the area in square yards. But there's another way also and that is to use the conversion factor between square miles and square yards, which I happen to already calculate here because one square mile is this many square yards. So now I have nine tenths of a square mile. I need to know that in square yards so I can actually go this times this. Okay? So let's try that. That times 0 0.9. Again, you multiply as if there was no decimal point. So actually we just multiply this by 9. You know? And then in the end we will need to put a one decimal digit in our answer. 9 times 0. 9 times 0. 9 times 6. Okay, the multiplication is done, one decimal digit here. So we get this number, 2,787,840 square yards. Lastly, we have another rectangle here, area, calculate the area in square centimeters and in square millimeters. Our dimensions are given in centimeters, so it's very easy to calculate it in square centimeters. The area is, of course, multiply those numbers. 10 times 22 is 220 square centimeters. Nothing to that. Now what about calculating it in square millimeters? There's actually two ways. Again, just like with this rectangle, there's two ways to figure it out. Way one is that you first change this to millimeters and this to millimeters and then multiply those numbers. Way two is to look at this number and then how much was one square centimeter in square millimeters? We solved it here, right? One square centimeter is this many square millimeters. So I have already the area in square centimeters. I can use this conversion factor to figure the area in square millimeters. Okay? One square centimeter is 100 square millimeters, so this many square centimeters is 100 times that, right? That's pretty easy to do, just multiply by 100, just tag two zeros there, and then you have square millimeters, 22,000. Okay? So, in general, in area conversions, especially if you have a rectangle, you can do it in two different ways. And um, whichever way is easier really depends on the context and what you have available, if you have conversion factors already calculated or not. And uh, if you have metric units or customer units, it's always more difficult with customer units. 
I hope this was helpful.